Okay, so I'm whistling with the tune, setting my alarm and all that stuff, but I do indeed see myself, and I am hearing myself. So that means we are locked in and live, ready and recording. So I welcome everybody back in to a late night live stream. Let's play this is Fallout 4. I'm farting around on my phone, and whence we last left you, we were doing some stuff, you know, dealings with, like, side quest material. But today, we're gonna jump into things and kind of get a main plot storyline thing. Well, a big quest line going. Bigger than most. Level 43, getting close to 44, and we should easily hit that, if not more. So that's kind of key. Green screen a little fudged up behind me, that's fine. Really slouched right now. I really am. So all you can notice my eyes are almost going that way. That's because the camera's there, and I'm looking at that part of my TV screen. Because that's where my face bubble is. This All this massive area I got to work with. So much room for activities, you know? Well, remember those fucking, uh, what were those people that killed me? The gunners that killed me yesterday? Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to get to them right away. Eventually, though, I remember where they're at, down south. Swig of water for the gamer, guys and girls. Mm-hmm. Got you covered there. Woo! It's all good, son. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hangnails, hair's still, you know. My hair's a mess because I'm kind of growing it out a little bit. Uh, but because I'm doing this weird thing where I'm wearing, like, a new base... Well, not a new, but a different baseball team's hat every day of the month. Uh, that's kind of, you know... Because I'm trying to do that faux hawk thing I was telling you about. Maybe I told you, maybe I didn't, but that's kind of the idea. Because, uh... Somewhere near my birthday, I had, like, buzzed my hair down. So that was, like, Memorial Day, so that's Jesus. Almost four months ago. Yeah, I had to count on my fingers. Yep. Yep. But, uh, well, almost four months ago, just kind of just, just buzzed it down pretty damn short. And been growing it out ever since. And I figured, like, well, I was buying a lot of baseball hats. I have every MLB team current. Uh, maybe I'll get some more alternates. And Montreal. I'm gonna get them too, don't worry. Uh, my Canadian sympathizer feels for the, uh, for all the sports. Canada hasn't won shit since what? Well, I mean, in pro sports. I know Olympics, but, uh... Canada hasn't won anything since, what, the 93 Montreal Canadiens? Raptors ain't got close. Blue Jays ain't done anything since, well, roughly the same time. They went back-to-back. -back. You know, that's it. Zero. Nothing done. I think, was it, what, 92 and 93 for the Blue Jays, but then... Montreal also won the cup. Was that the 92-93 season or the 93-94 season? I don't know. Anyway. Failed kidnapping at Sanks Rails. I don't give a shit. I'm not trying to do those fucking missions. Sentry bot, huh? Oh, no, wait. I think we're okay, but I'm quick saving nonetheless. Private property, no trespassing. Well, let me put the gun away, just, uh... That might help things. Hey, buddy. Discovered Cabot House. Stay off the grass. Okay, I'm not on the grass. I am not. not right. Um, I'm expected. Let me in. Edward Deegan asked me to come here. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. We, we cool, right? I hope we cool. That's why I'm going inside. Don't worry about me. Jeez. You know... Well, that's right, there's something else that I just gotta check in with, video game-wise. Got a lot going on, actually. Let's go um, meet the boss. 
Um, what is this place? What is this place? Better to let Jack answer that. Come on. All right. How nice this place is. Ain't no bomb blown up bullshit around here or nothing. Jack, the new guy is here. One moment, one moment. I just have to. He'll be right with us. <laughs> oh, damn. Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. Hey, Jack. Okay. Look at that pool table. Might have a full fucking set there, huh? What is this place? What is this place? This is my ancestral home. The Cabots have always lived here since long before the Great War. If you're asking what we're still doing here, with Boston in its current sad state, well, that's a story for another time, perhaps. Okay, well, tell me what you need. Just tell me what you need me to do. All in good time, all in good time. Consider this your final interview before getting the job. Please, okay. have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Please, have a seat. The stuff in here is older than you, Blue. Blue? Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? I mean, yeah, why, yeah, sure. The universe is a big place. Anything could be out there. Wonderful. Most people's minds are too narrow to admit the possibilities of an infinite universe. But I'm not talking about flying saucers and little green men. Oh. I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet. The very origins of human civilization. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. Um... Alien, what do, you, what do you mean? You think aliens created human civilization. Wonder what they'd think to see us now. Yes, if by alien you mean a non-human precursor to the commonly understood founding cultures. Sumer, Egypt, Assyria. My father excavated a city in the Rub al Khali in Arabia, which he dated to more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. The structures and artifacts were strange, Disturbing, even. Clearly not constructed for or by humans. Okay. I've spent my life trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, can I tell him what I need him to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending him to look for the missing shipment? Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay. You're officially hired. Congratulations. Um... That was... interesting. Huh. <laughs> Good. If you like that kind of thing, you've come to the right place. As long as it That's pays well. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. You know the old insane asylum you shot up? Ah, uh, yeah. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? Yeah, what is the package? For starters, what's this package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. You should start at Parsons. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Okay. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then? Um, I've been ready. I was all set when I walked in here. Well then, get going already. Anything I can do? Okay. You just say the word. <gasps> this is considered stealing? What? I want all of the pool balls. Well, we got a mission to go- wait, unlock? Why do I need to unlock? Okay, to get outside, I need to unlock the door and fucking walk out. Kinda weird, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie in the least. Huh? 
that's getting me. Melberries! Are tater tots a breakfast food? They are now. Welcome in Melberries to a late night live stream let's play of Fallout 4. Well, you know. Who are you? Mr. Handy! Alright, that's cool. There's that Assaultron again. Not looking to fuck with him. Not at all. Hardy's tries to say they are hash browns, but they are tots. Dude, I haven't been to a Hardy's in, like, forever. I'm talking probably mid-90s. Jesus, 20 years ago, if not more? No joke. Well, we're going to the insane asylum right now, Melberry, so... Yeah. Let's go crazy, huh? I should go, what, to the insane asylum or Hardee's? I don't know if there is a Hardee's down here in South Florida. No joke. The best egg and cheese sandwich. I remember they had a good roast beef back in the day until I discovered what Arby's was. Not to say that, uh... It was bad. The this Hardee's roast beef, that is. You'd best move along. Uh, boop, 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 boop. Edward sent me. Edward Deegan sent me? I'm looking for a missing package. Oh. You're the new guy. So this package. Pretty sure we know where it is. So tell the guys me. guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery. Just north of Creamery. here. Creamery. That's all I needed. That's all I needed to know. Well then. I guess we're done. Hey. Be careful. It's weird that they're still hanging around so close. Normal raiders would have grabbed the loot and bugged out by now. It's like they're scouting the place or something. I'll be glad when you clear them out. Alright. And clear them out I shall. How was my day? Um, pretty decent. I did a workout yesterday and forgot to post the results. Today I didn't uh, get in a workout, sadly. Had some running around to do. But calorie burn on the day... Um, we're a little ahead of schedule. I mean, if you're going by the bland 100 calories per hour of the day, I'm almost 2,350. So, I mean, if you can burn about 2,400 calories in a day, I'd say you're doing decent, depending on your caloric intake. I think I did well, but not, not, not bad, but not great either. Did I go to the Museum of Witchcraft? Uh, I believe I did. What is this giant tower? Hmm. You know what they say, if you don't post it on social media, you didn't really work out. I mean, I could do it. That might even have a timestamp on it. I can show you right now. Not, I mean, what good would that do? I mean, you know, without a massive audience live here on Twitch, it's like, pfft, that shit didn't really happen. And by the time people might watch this on YouTube, if they do, and that could be months after the fact. Be like, oh, who cares? Just an odd glow on the fucking base of that tree there. Probably like glowing mushrooms or some shit. I don't know. Whew, go to the highest room in the highest tower. There'll there will be a princess. I missed the princess up here. I don't think there's a princess up here. Looks more like a dungeon. And not a fun dungeon either. What do you mean a fun dungeon? Well, well, you know. Fifty Shades of Amateur Hour. That, that kind of dungeon. Who the hell were they trying to sell on that stuff, huh? Poor board housewives. They just. Mm. <laughs> and wouldn't you know, glowing mushrooms at the base of this here tree. But everything stays glowing. Is it raining out? It looks like her vest is just. Well, that it got rained on. She's locked in. 
That's how the story goes. Haven't you seen Shrek? No, I have not seen any of the Shrek movies. And that's not a that's not a rib. It's not a joke. Not a goddamn one of them. I haven't. You would be fucking utterly shocked at the movies I have never seen. But then again, you'd also be like, well, it is MJ. He go. Hey, something's out there. Easy peasy. There you are, you little bastard. Still under caution, fuck your life. And hidden. Okay. Wait a minute, we're not nearly done yet. Trust me, I've done this before. Ooh, we got the mysterious serum. <gasps> Look at that, damage resistance of 50, minus 36,000 rads, and plus 5 strength. Holy shit, that's pretty awesome. Hardened, heavy, heavy, strengthened, heavy. Reload. Okay. That worked out in my favor. Kind of want to slow creep it again. Because, well, you know. No, I was, uh, I was trying to impress someone at work with how few movies I've seen. And we went through, like, the top 200 box office grossing movies of, like, all time. We were on a worldwide list, but there was only, like, five movies we didn't know because they were, like, foreign films. But, uh... Yeah, so, of, like, the, the top 200 all-time grossing movies, box office movie, you know, dollar intake, I'd probably seen... I mean, not even 50. That'd be a quarter of the list, you know? It's just not a lot. Well, they had a basketball. At least they were trying to hoop it up. That's cool. Now, I think there were three people that I killed. So they had some milk going. That motherfucker's dead. Okay, actually, I want to get a little look upstairs, maybe. Nice, got the hoop going. With a little mobster cutout thing. Alright. Ugh. I don't know, just start naming movies and just see how uh, how I've never seen any of them. Let's just go that route. Well we got the serum, so we go back to Cabot House that quick. Okay. Don't need to impress them, we will all be Warm food, then worm poop. Well, worm food, then worm poop. Okay. I was actually impressing people today at work with, uh... With, like, answering trivia. It's astounding to them. Like, really? This kid plays dumb, but he's pretty fucking smart. Homeward Bound, uh... Did not see all of it. I know of it. You know, the, what, the three animals, what, the two dogs and the cat or whatever? Like, the family moves they can't take the pets with? Something like that. Never saw Homeward Bound. I might have seen a little bit of it, but I haven't seen it all the way through. I guarantee you that. Fox and the Hound I did see. Apparently there's a Fox and the Hound Part 2. Never saw it. Land Before Time I did see. Apparently there's like 94 of those movies. Haven't seen any past number one. I failed to help Sunshine Tidings. Okay, he's a green bar. That's no. Oh, I'll put the gun away just for, just for the argument. 
Uh, they could take the pets, but the airline lost them. Well, that's pretty shitty right there. That's a fucking lawsuit, yo. Uh, yeah, the, the Disney animated one I did see, but that whole thing with Johnny Depp and Helica Bonham, or Helena Bonham Carter, no, did not see that one. So did you find out what happened to the courier? Edward has better things to um, do than sending Raider ambush. Just some raiders that ambushed him. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating. My stream so went to shit. Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? Sure did. There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. Now, as far as what's next. As far as what's next, uh, normally I would take the the charisma check for dialogue options there. Not for this mission. I know this mission, so if you're following along at home, I don't know what happens, but oh, hell. just go I with it. I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not going to be happy about it. Come on. Okay, Zoolander, I did see... Most of it. I'd say I saw 90-95% of it. Might have missed a couple minutes, but I pretty much know Zoo. Only saw it once, maybe twice. So it's not like I know it front to back. Step Brothers, I did see, but I was uh, self-medicating at the time, if that makes any sense to you. So it's a little spotty in my brain. Um, but I did see it. Hot Fuzz, I did not see. The other guys. Uh, that's Wahlberg and... Will Ferrell is policeman. I did not see. Emperor's New Groove did not see it. Office Space haven't seen the whole thing start to finish. I've probably seen the whole movie, but in chunks. Like I've seen the middle third. Then maybe I saw the the early portion of it. Then I saw the the last bit of. It. Never all at once. Coraline, or is that supposed to be Caroline? Because either way, I'd say no. And yeah, Hot Fuzz came out after Shaun of the Dead, when Simon Pegg was running pretty high. Uh, I saw Shaun of the Dead, but I didn't see Hot Fuzz. Um, Moonrise Kingdom? No idea. Telling anyone. Sounds like vampires. Stuffing years older than you, Blue. Always on good behavior, aren't you? I could be good. Try to be. I try to be. Seems like you're doing better than trying. Jack, I appreciate I'll it. Too few folks can be bothered. Jack, of course, in my experience, if you want to do real good, playing nice only gets you so far. I mean, look at Diamond City, a place I've been trying to warn of real danger. But every issue I publish, all I hear is, oh, Piper, why don't you ever publish anything happy? Piper, why can't you write something nice for a change? It's enough to make me want to hang up my hat some days. Don't do it. Ah, good. Finally. Give what's wanted. Yeah, oh, wait. Ah, uh, shit, no, we're not done. Hey. Hmm? Hey, Piper. Always on good behavior, aren't you? I want to continue with this. I Try to be, it. okay. Seems like you're doing better. I appreciate it, mm -hmm. of course, and Mike's. Right. I mean, oh, Pipe. It's enough to make me want Ah, uh, fuck, I don't know what the options are. Really in danger? Is Diamond City really mm. in danger? It's not like there's raiders pounding on the gate. Are you kidding me? There is a very real chance the city leadership has been infiltrated by an institute synth. Hmm. A synth under the control of an organization widely known to kidnap or murder anyone that stands up to them. I'd take raiders at the gate any day of the week over that. Of course, making sure folks are actually listening. <laughs> That's a battle in itself. Must be exhausting. Sounds like it must be exhausting. <laughs> no kidding. But people, they deserve to know the truth. Sure, it can be scary, knowing what's really out there. Damn right. A night doesn't go by, I'm not afraid. Some institute drone will decide today's the day to pay old Piper and family a visit. But it's worth it, because I know the truth. That's what protects us. Truth creates fear. I couldn't agree more. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. How can you protect you and yours if you don't know what you're facing? Exactly. Most folks, though, they'd prefer a comforting lie. Not me. I've seen firsthand what the truth can do. My sister and I, we grew up way out in the Commonwealth. Tiny little settlement. Our dad, he was part of the local militia. <laughs> Keeping the raiders off our backs and the Meyerlurks out of our latrines, as he'd describe it. 
Well, uh, one day, our dad turns up dead. Why is she going into story mode here? His captain, asshole named Mayburn, claims raiders must have gotten him on watch. Well, I didn't buy it. I start making inquiries. Turns out, captain, he'd sold out. Mm. Thought he wasn't getting paid enough to babysit the town. He was gonna leave the gates open one night. Let a group of raiders sack the place and take a cut of the profits. My dad found out and was gonna turn Mayburn in, but Mayburn got to him first. That's some I shit. I wasn't about to let that bastard get away with murder. I tried Corruption. Tried to the mayor, but he wouldn't listen. So, I papered the entire town in posters. Wanted for gross dereliction of duty, Captain Mayburn. The mayor sure wanted to talk after that. The town threw Mayburn out on his ass and were dug in when a very surprised group of raiders finally showed. Uh, what happened then? What happened after that? We made do. Sis was still pretty young at the time and Mom was... out of the picture. Huh. So we got by on the kindness of others for a while. Eventually, I saved up enough to book us both passage with the caravan and then we moved on up to the big city. Called it home ever since. Better than nothing, you know. Sorry about your dad. I'm you know. sorry about your dad. Thanks. It was hard after he was gone, but knowing that he died doing right, that's always made it easier. But hey, I, I'm sorry if I've been rambling. I just get fired up sometimes. It's just nice to talk to someone who, who actually seems to get it, you know? So, should we head out? Or do we have more stories? Well, I guess uh, I guess we head out because she's done with her story time. Okay, now wait a minute. We were we were offered bourbon. Where the fuck is the good bourbon? Where the fuck is the good bourbon? Oh, they lied. Anyway, back to uh, oh Jesus, what did I miss here? Tucker and Dale versus Evil. Nope, I I know that by name, but I have no idea. Heard on the radio today, the host said his female friend stopped seeing a guy because he sent her. A dick pic. Hmm. Then he turned around and said he thinks women secretly like them. Like she secretly likes them, but she stopped seeing him altogether? Something like that, yeah. It's like, I like the dick pics, but I don't want to talk or look at this guy anymore. Mm -mm -mm. For the most part, girls do not like the dick pics, guys. And if they do, it's not your dick that they're interested in. You know, they'll look at, like, porn stars or something like that. You know, that's the whole deal. Excuse me. Here's the situation. Emma Jean is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. Wait, where did she go? Do you know where she's gone? No. But it shouldn't be too hard to find out. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. At the jazz club there. The third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. Okay. Okay, I'll start in Good Neighbor. So now we are on the search for the sister. We, we kind of caught a glimpse of her talking to a lab coat guy on our way in. Ooh, what can I craft, if anything? Nothing but caltrops, yo. Alright, that's nothing. You would want someone to send you a dick pic, and you'd post it on Facebook and tag him in it. Also, ask first. Guys, just send them. Ask! Uh, yeah, because, you know, it's... Oh, here's the... Wait, this is the other sister, I think. I just can't bear to think what might have happened to poor Imogene. Or is this the mother? That's gotta be the mother. I'm sorry. Well... Yeah. You all right there, uh, tough guy? Woo! Anyway. But yeah, I mean, on that note, Melberries, with, you know, guys always sending dick pics, it's like, I'm not aware of many cases where, like, a girl sends a guy, like, vagina pics. I, I, don't, I don't know that to be, like, a thing. Like, guys wouldn't like it if women randomly sent them nudes. Oh no, guys would like it, absolutely. But see, guys don't think 
they don't give the, the half a thought of a consideration to, you know, girls that, no, no, don't get me wrong. I'm of the mindset that, that girls are, are just as, like, revved up for fun <laughs> that men are, sometimes, if not more. But it's just that whole, uh, not the dogma, that's not the right word. That all, like, you're supposed to be a lady, you know? You're supposed to be a little more fucking mature, because guys are idiots, you know, it's not too... F you don't have to do much to be more mature than a guy, to be brutally honest. But still. Because, I mean, honestly, like, here's my argument. Magic Mike, Fifty Shades of Grey. Yeah, those did well. You know why? Because, well, shit, there's sexual interest there. I totally get that. But, like, all things considered, it's kind of like... Can I jump over all this shit? I cannot. Hey, well, we're not alone here. Danger what? What danger? You fucking asshole throwing grenades at me. <laughs> that really hurt, you prick. Oh, now you done going fucked up. Oh, hey, buddy. Uh-huh. Now got a line on him? Several lines. Sounds like a turret, is it not? Oh, hey, buddy. Can't see, huh? That must suck. Short assault rifle, let's see. Sturdy, sturdy, okay. Hey. Zoomed in too far. Got that. Mm hmm, mm hmm. Sturdy. Not this good, ya. Yeah. Dead motherfucker over here. Uh, sturdy. This is leaded. This is heavy. Hey, 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 hey. Wherever you were, stop it. Stop it. What was that? I see you. You really held your own there, Blue. Wasn't that three shots to the head? Jesus. What else did I miss here? No excuse, I'm tagging him. Oh, and his whole family and printing postcards to send to random people. Okay, so if a guy did this to you, um, yeah, that's just, yeah. And, like, you kind of know who it is. Uh, I mean, maybe edit the picture a little bit. Because I don't think you can actually put nude photos up on Facebook, you know what I mean? You'll have to, like, like, what, well, you know. But yeah, I mean, if you want to put them on blast like that, yeah, totally get you in that regard. I totally understand that. Because that's just... Nah. And I mean, kind of weird if he asks as well. But... At least he would ask. <laughs> Still very weird, but... Nah. There is no winning in that scenario for him. Only losing. All right, pipes. I hey. need you to hold some stuff. Um, Help I said trade. There we go. Big ol' automatic rifles. Oh, two grenades. That, two pipe pistols, this shit, these things. Yeah, see, she can't carry a whole hell of a lot of shit compared to, like, strong. Understandable, but... Wow. Not just, wow, I'm talking like Owen Wilson, wow. She can't even carry 0 0.1 pounds. Probably the weakest two companion lineups I can get. Bet you Kate's tougher. Stronger for carrying weight, at least. Well, you know. Fuck was that turret? I don't think I picked up his uh his shit. Where was that turret? Well, let's see, I was peering around a corner. Oh! A lot of smoke up here. This has gotta be it. Okay. A tato. 
do 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 You like my hair? Dude, it's been matted down. I've been wearing a hat all day. Wait, wait, you now. I've been wearing hats a lot recently, but my new gimmick is uh, a new baseball team every day. All this month. Today was day 18, the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim was our hat team of the day. Oh, but I did see um, angels in the outfield. Yeah! Oh, that's so sexy to get that. What was that? <laughs> and more idiot savant. Nice. Get that shit doubled up. I'm feeling pretty, pretty good. I got, got shit on him. More dead bodies. Not bad. Okay, no kidding. More dead bodies. What what the fuck is the deal here? It's nothing I need. I'm not taking small shit. I want the biggest shit. However, I'll take that metal busket away from your corpse. As bizarre as that sounds. Do I even want to go bother to look for that fucking guy's gear? Like... There's usually a fucker with a... rocket launch around here. I'm gonna quick save, just in case. You know what I'm gonna do? I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. Oh, nothing in the meat bag. Don't know why I'm bothering to go look for shit on a corpse that ain't got nothing useful for me. But that's just, I'm a fucking magpie. Ooh, shiny, you know. Got a frag grenade out of it, that's cool. I don't use that shit enough. Actually, I don't use it at all. I always have a stockpile of, like, grenades and Molotov cocktails and fucking mines. Never use them. Not a ner nothing. Oh, oh well. Can I collect this, all this skeleton stuff? Oh my god, I can. Yeah, that driver missed his turn, you know? That's the shits. I mean, I just picked up a lot of skeletal stuff here. That's pretty gnarly. Piper, what are you doing? Either she was pirouetting, dancing a jig, or... Wait, get off it. Yeah, you... Hey. Fucker. Fucker! Now where are you going, huh? Oh, look, 10 millimeter round. Oh, and a pistol. <laughs> Fuck off, you! Goddamn roaches. What nearly spotted me there? Huh. Hello! Found them and they do not look friendly. Still in one piece. Oh, I am doing just fine, still in one piece. Hey! What's the caution? These fucking lights all over the place. Get out of here. What other caution? What do, what do we got here, huh? Saw gunfire from somewhere else. Taking your turret mess. What did I kill? Three of them? Four of them? Brahmin! I saw the Brahmin. Ooh, turret. Here you go. Power fist. 
See, combat armor ain't shit to me. Well, I mean, if we're detected by the Brahmin, I'm not so worried about that. Hey, the Postal Squad. There another light shining down on us. Joe's Spuckies? What the fuck are Spuckies? Is that a New England thing? What the fuck's a Spucky? Mm -hmm. What's up, buddy? I'm gonna save because I don't trust what's going on right now. Well, I kinda got a problem with, uh, trust, you know... No one's gonna get a fast one over on me. Uh-uh! Not a chance. And watch me step gingerly on a landmine. Haven't I been to Good Neighbor? I could probably just fast travel there instead of fucking run around like a schnook. Yes, like a schnook. Okay, let's fast travel to Good Neighbor. That'll be fun. Totally works for me. Phone. Oh my god, we're right there to level up too. Oh, I was gonna do something on my phone involving a fucking game, and I forgot to do it at work. God, I feel like such a, a schnook. There's that fucking word again. Well, Melberries, what's the deal? You're like, you're, you're up late hanging around, like... I, I thought the old job was done. I mean, unless you have time off to... whatever. Hey, hold up there. First time in good neighbor? You can't go walking around without insurance. Quick save, back the fuck off. You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. What was that? I, I couldn't hear over the sound of all that pathetic. Oh, fuck you, pathetic. I'm gonna load up my game and get that shit back. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get my stuff. Yes, load that save data. That's the one. Now, I was looking for other things. Can't do it. They won't let me. They won't frickin' let me. Do. You better back off, or you're the one who's gonna need insurance. Well, well hey, all right. We'll just say your insurance is paid up for now, okay? Whoa, whoa, time out. Someone steps through the gate the first time, they're a guest. You lay off that extortion crap. What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn? I said let him go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, there'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. Let me tell you something. Ho! Ho! Well, why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. Now I know you had old Finn handled back there. But a mayor's gotta make a point sometimes. You alright? Um... You killed him? You killed him? Got a good pair of eyes on you. I think you'll fit in here. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Um, sounds like anarchy. It really does. Sounds like anarchy. The best kind of anarchy. Embrace it, and maybe one day you'll call this little slice of chaos home. So long as you remember who's in charge. Okay, well... Fuck it, let's loot this guy, cause fuck him. It is better in our hands. Daisy's discounts. Oh, y'all got a bench here? I c oh, yes you do. Excuse me, I need this drifter. Get out of the way. What, you dry? Nothing. Hello, we're to the third rail. I need to take care of something. Ooh, wee! Real quick. Oh man. You know, I just leveled up. And I could have gone scrapper. Aw, oh, man. Well, Big Leagues is maxed out. Still can't do Rifleman. Armor, I'm not so pent up on doing it right away. Gun Nut as well. Doesn't need to happen right now. I know, you're either thinking Locksmith, you're thinking Hacker, you're thinking Strongback, of course. Oh, I didn't take Scrapper. I thought I did. What did I take then last time? Wasn't sneak, boy. Do I want scrapper for like more shit? Hold on now. Rank one. You can salvage uncommon components like screws, aluminum, and copper when scrapping. 
Rank 2, which is what I have, you can salvage rare components like circuitry, nuclear material, and fiber optics when scrapping weapons and armor. Items with favorited components are highlighted. And this final set, you get more from salvage. So I guess just more pieces? Uh, so if it's nuclear material instead of two, I get four? I'm not so sure about that. <laughs> Shots! Oh, yeah. In case I don't see you tomorrow, hump day! Heading out? Well, I mean, if you are heading out, I'll catch you down the road. You know that for sure. But, yeah, the whole shot thing. I got no booze in the house. I don't. Boy, do I want Scrapper. Man, I, I don't know. Now, see, one thing, all right. Now, with Charisma, I just want to point this out. The Lone Wanderer. Who needs friends anyway? You can go wandering on your own. Um, without a companion, you take 15% less damage, and your carrying weight increases by 50. Now, that sounds good, but you don't have that other person to pack rat off of, right? Okay, uh, second rank. Carrying weight increases by 100. When adventuring uh, without a companion, you do 25% more damage. So you can take less damage and give more damage being alone. When adventuring without a companion, you have, a, you have 25 more action points. So you can carry more, do more damage, and take less damage being alone. However, I still say strong back in the long run is one of the better things to do. Get booze and good night. Well, Melberries will catch you down the road. Thanks so much for checking things out. And yeah, in about uh, 35 minutes, it will be hump day. So, you know I'll catch you down the road. You know that. It's how we do. It's just how we do. Um, the art of buying and selling, or just to carry more shit. You know what? I've been talking about strong back forever. There, an extra 25 carrying weight. Which now puts me up to 365. Actually, Piper had a lot of shit, too. Um. Yeah, Piper, give me all your hey. shit. Just let me. Oh, no, not the 10 millimeter rounds. I'm sorry. You need that stuff. Take it all. That's fine. Oh no, don't be using my grenades, hell no. Okay, you should be good there. Oh, I'm weighed down. Alright, while well, we're craft scrapping. There's some weight. There's some weight. I mean, we're gonna be carrying a lot of scrap right now. That's the problem. Okay, this is the weapon joint. Oh, we're still weighed I'll down. I think the armor statement. joint is right next door. Hundred caps. Wait. No. Fifty. Ten? Yeah, thanks. Whatever. But I think I'll pass. Wow, security, huh? That's cool. Oh wait, this is the cooking joint. Whoops. Well, what the fuck do I got? A little bit to do. Oh, I didn't collect that sting wing when I killed it. Oh, well. Oh, there's the armor bench. Okay. It's like, I know there's one around. Um, get rid of this stuff. Dude, it's heavy leather. It's heavy steel. It's heavy... Leaded! Alright, so that definitely has stuff to it, so... So I get sturdy and heavy. Don't do shit for me. Huh. Yeah, now I can run. <clears throat> What's up, Daisy? Oh, new face walks into my store. And you're not even screaming yet. Very polite. You let me know if anything catches your fancy. Okay. Screaming, like... Did you say something about people screaming at you? That's right. Some newcomers have never seen a ghoul before. What? Can't handle a friend. How could face, you not? You so you need some supplies? Yeah. I've got a few minutes to browse. It's a little bit of everything. Well, that's good to know, actually. A little bit of everything. Sweet! Here, take some beer. Maybe, I don't know yet. Blow fly meat, take the carrot, take the corn. Deathclaw steaks are pretty good. Grilled rad roach. I just made that myself, you know. Boy, my alert, queen steaks. Well, two of those, two of those, two of those. Okay. Nuka colas? Nah, I don't need that shit. Pork and beans, get rid of it. Purified water. Red away. 
I mean, I could sell you eight of these things and be happy with myself. Shit. Refreshing beverage. We're gonna hold on to those for a little bit. Whiskey is two strength minus intelligence. Well, hold on a sec. If I got these fucking things, like, plus 25 carrying weight... I don't know what one strength is gonna give me. Like, two strength makes sense. I'll hold on to that. Um... What else was I even thinking about using? Dude, look at those fusion cells. The fuck, like... 2889? Fusion core is 25, that's different. 38 rounds. Oh yeah! What is my gun currently using? 45s. It's a good bullet. Dude, I could just take all your money. Reduces damage from humans, increases wear movement speed. Uh, I don't need a movement speed thing. Oh shit, what about weapons? Do you have anything, uh... Star rated there? I don't think you do. Hmm. Sure, give me seven bobby pins. I mean, it's probably a moot point right now, but... Uh, okay, I mean, I got all that. Let's... Sure, then I'll just take a little bit of money off your hands. I just dumped a couple of things for me. Well, hello. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Except me. I only kill when I want to. Okay. What are you? Who... What are you? I'm a woman, baby. Can't you tell? Um, quick save. You're a robot? Hold on a second. Where's this oh, going? of course you are. It's just... All those metal plates. You're a robot, right? A very womanly robot? Designation, Assaultron. Designed to provide a variety of security-related tasks to the modern man. Runtime conclusion. Why work for the man when you can work for yourself? Good call. New designation. K-L-E-O. Cleo. Fully independent small business owner. Robot enough for you, smooth talker? Wow. Now what are you buying? Assaultron? You're... an Assaultron? That's what my maker has called me. But as far as huh? I'm concerned, I'm a woman. And I run a store that sells very large guns. So what'll it be? What's for sale? So what kind of weapons do you have? Anything that can kill a man, I sell. Nice. Except suicidal depression. That is unfortunately not packageable. Now, are we doing business? Yeah, I suppose. Let's Let's bark. see what you have. Let's get you outfitted, killer. I love the blandness in the delivery, even though there's like... Sexual overtones. Tremendous. 50% more damage against humans with this party starter rocket launcher. Suppose that would do the trick, huh? A lot of shit here. Nothing I need. Sadly. Apparel. Reflects 10% of melee damage back on the attacker. Temporarily slows time during combat when you are at 20% health or less. Power armor frame for 4,200. Ballistic fiber. Oh, I kind of want that. Yeah, I kind of want that. What can I, like, fork up to even get the price closer? Probably nothing, honestly. Ammo, but I mean, shit. Yeah, see, I don't use 5mm rounds. Let, let me let me give you exacts, huh? Alright, are we square? You get that. I get that. Alright, ballistic fiber it is. Nice. That's only gonna help. The third rail. Okay. Why she got like a... Like a 1950s kind of... You know, like that greaser kind of look? Or whatever you'd call it? 
Doodle doodle doodle. Ch -ch. Looks like Mr. Fuji. Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Go on in. No problem, Ham. Um, wait. Hey. Enjoy your stay. All right, good enough. Yeah, third rail. This is an old subway run, obviously. Um, I'm supposed to be here doing this stuff. Ask around the third rail. Okay. You there. What? Another one of you mercs looking for McCready? He's in the back room. Okay. <clears throat> God, I love this song. Huh. Got the jazz lounge kind of singer. Go to the bathroom. Oh my God, it's Godzilla. Quick, set some traps. Inside story. Inside joke, whatever. Um, so wait a minute. What just, uh, talk to McCready? That's miscellaneous. I don't need to worry about that anytime soon. Oh, there's a book in the well, bathroom here. Alright, see that? I didn't know. Awesome. Can't say I'm surprised to find Go to the shit. Out. You'll find some reading material. I, how long it would take I go and take a crap. <laughs> what does it do? Like plus to strength, or what's the what's the deal? Asking for a friend. Where's, where's the shitter in this place? I really don't know. The shitter is upstairs. Okay. Oh, I kind of like the candles on the stairs. That's nice. Ham? Where, where do I drop one? Brain fungus that- what? No one saw me take it. Dude, I took brain fungus off the fucking wall. Y'all can't be mad about that. Matter of fact, don't be mad about that. Downstairs. Don't bother the other patrons. I won't. Pre-war money. I'm, I'm quick saving because I don't trust myself right now. I don't trust the game. Oh, look at that, it's mine Here's now. A classic. I'm even gonna take the desk fan. Did I miss it? In the shitter? Like, I could see stealing the cigarettes that are right there. Maybe that's part of the business he, you know... Wait, you know. Did I seriously miss this thing? Stealing the soap is a fucking what? What? It's not on the wall. Hmm. Oh, there. You know, it's beneath the brain fungus. I scared myself. Living off. Oh, this I can read. Hell yeah. Companions permanently gain plus five damage resistance and energy resistance. Well, that's good because I currently have Piper equipped with, uh... Okay, you know when you get the ballistic fiber, like, shit, the, like, I think that's what I'm wearing right now. Matter of fact, I'll show you. Uh... Where the fuck... Where is he? Yeah, the armored green shirt and combat boots. Yeah, so all that stuff... The 90 defense and ballistic deep all that bullshit. Like, when you're able to get the ballistic fiber, like, armor or rank... I have a rank 3. I think at rank 4, that would be 110. What I did with Piper is, I had, like, a combat suit or something. Something similar to this. And I gave that to her. And, like, she was wearing that, and, like, then her red trench coat was, like, available for, like, inventory to, like, trade away from her. So I'm like, hmm, let me take that away... I bolstered that thing up at the uh, armor workbench, and then gave it back to her, because, like, those are her clothes, you know. The red trench coat, the cut-off gloves, that's a good look. And the, the hat, I wasn't able to do anything with. I could probably make another one. I toss out the troublemakers. Keep that in mind. Like, well, a hat, that is. Not that specific that's hat, right, but... Good I don't know what you're looking for. Well, you know. We'll be right yeah. back. 
Sure. Just kind of getting ready for Fallout 76 Please hype. Excuse you me. know how it is. Yes. Who's talking so that subtitles are overblown? Hi. Sweet pit boy, brother. You hold on to that. Oh, I will. See, I don't want to talk to the lounge singer just yet. I really don't. Not boy, yet. We got beer. You ain't buying beer, you ain't buying. Actually, I'm looking for Imogene. Yo, do you know Imogene Cabot? Name rings a bell. Kind of balmy. Haven't seen her in a while, though. Try Magnolia. She likes to make friends with people. She might know more about this missing bird. Magnolia is, of course, the singer. Should have raised my charisma. Oh, whiskey doesn't raise charisma? Motherfucker. Well, I'd like Charlie. beer, then. What'll it be? Barter? I'll take a look. Sure. Cash up front. No tabs. That's totally fair. Plus one charisma? Can I get, like, plus two charisma from something here? Can definitely get the strength. Huh. Won't have a beer. Nelly, I need it. Um, sure, whatever Sounds you said, I'll do it. I got a certain and only catch. So we too. get something from him now. Ooh, ooh, boop, 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 boop. Quick save, ask for money. Dialogue, you know. Three locations? That's a lot of time. A lot of bullets. Well, I guess we could sweeten the pot a bit. Two fifty. We could do more. Well, let's quick save and see who the client is. That might hit easier. I don't do work. Unless I know who's paying the bills. Not your concern. No. Now, you're taking the... This son of a bitch here. Until I'm carrying 38,000 pencils, I'm not a magpie. I mean, I would break those all down, though. That's the problem. And yeah, if I'm going into dialogue options like this, like if I want it to hit, I will reload my game, reload my game. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Remember how bad Nintendo games would just fucking murder us back in the day? Video games used to cheat the hell out of us, so... I don't do work, unless I know who's paying the bills. Not your... Motherfucker. This, I'll get him one of these times. I'll get him. I doubt that I'll get the one for more money. But just a little extra experience, and hey, if it's Idiot Savant, that's five times the experience. If that thing hits, I'll be all kinds of good. Who the hell would carry 38,000 pencils, though? You're mad. Just fucking mad. I don't do work. Unless I know who's paying the bills. All right, Gov. Not like it's a big secret who I represent. Mayor Hancock is fronting the caps. Okay, good. Internal political struggle. You know how it is. Look, it's nothing you need to be concerned about. Just clear out the warehouses and get paid. Simple. Okay, uh, I'm gonna ask for more money. Probably just this one time. I don't know. Too low. Barely covers the risks. All right, Gov. But it hits! 300. <laughs> 300? Okay, I'm done there. I'll get it done. You better. Now go out there and bust some eggs. With higher charisma, you can take care of that shit. But there's a side quest there. Now let's do the old quick save and drink our beer and up our charisma. Because we're going to be talking to... Ooh, look at that. It's a lady. You take everything you can get your hands on. I kind of do. Lou, give me a milk. Chocolate. Excuse me. Hmm? What's the matter, handsome? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. No, the song was fine. The song was lovely. There I love the song. It was perfect. Real great set this evening, ma'am. Of songs, that is, I... Oh, is it warm in here? Oh, well, thank you. A girl tries her best. <laughs> now, there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Fine. You got the cocky smirk of a gambler. Well, I can relate. <laughs> Lady Luck is probably my second favorite lover. So what brings huh. a man like you to my part of town? Um... Sarcastic, what else? Oh, I woke up here. Just me, my underwear, and regret. <laughs> that sounds like the beginning of a great song. 
Wow. I think you and I are going to get along. So it's my Smooth. turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? Um. Oh, man. Well, we can do the flirt thing, and I kind of want to do that before we do the image. I was wondering thing. if we could get to know each other better. Oh, really? Go on. Oh, man. Well, I drank my beer. Let's flirt more. <laughs> you, me, an evening walk under the streetlights. And then what? Oh my god, and then what? God, she's really pressuring me now. Music. Hmm, I knew you were something special, all right. Let me get my coat. Go on a date. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Let me get my coat. Huh? Don't have no hands. Woo! Okay, so, uh, it's implied that there's a little bit of squeezy-squeezy that takes place here, and that's cool. Part of, uh, doing this... Because I just can never... Well, I'll explain. I mean, yeah, why, why not get some action on the side? It's fucking fallout, you know? I haven't been out on the town in too long. Thank you. I'm afraid my first What did that say? What was that little... I saw the logo of the guy in the bed, like, thumbs up, and... But there was something in the upper left corner. Stream, don't go too fast. What does this say? You feel... Your lovers... Oh, you feel your lovers embrace. Okay, uh, well, yeah, we did it's it. always gonna be the stage, though. I hope you understand. I just can't get too attached. I'll see you around, good neighbor. When I'm up there singing, mm, I'll be thinking of you. Just a quick little bouncy bouncy, and they're good. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. I have to head back. Do you now? Okay, that's all right. I'm okay for now. Just give it a couple seconds. Piper, were, were you in on that one, or were you, uh, like, watching? This guy. What? No. It can't. It, it, it... It's you! From Sanctuary Hills, right? Okay. Now, from the very beginning of the game, remember the guy that knocks on the door, the Vault-Tec representative? Yes! This is the guy, 200 years later. How he remembers, I don't know, but... Um, Godzilla, you do realize that this guy is the same voice of Campbell from Metal Gear, right? Snake, you're to infiltrate fucking outer heaven, blah blah, no, what the hell was it, uh, Shadow Moses Island. It's the same voice actor guy, I love that. It's, uh, I, I don't know, like, how to find this guy otherwise, other than sleeping with, uh, with Magnolia. So, but it's cool, this is the same dude from early in the game, but the same voice actor is Colonel Campbell from the Metal Gear Solid games. You can kind of hear it in the voice. I'll give a little bit of volume on this one. Just for just for the fun of it all. Let's quick save while we're at it. Yes, it's me. Yeah, I'm from Sanctuary. What? You don't remember me? I sold you that space in the vault. <laughs> but then I wasn't on the list to get in. But you, look at you. 200 years. And you're still perfect. I like scissors. 64. How's that possible? Uh, cryostasis. The vault had these pods that froze us in place. I only thawed out recently. What? vault -Tec never told me that. Unbelievable. Well, I had to get to the future the hard way. Living through the filth, the... Decay and the bloodshed. What bloodshed? Look at me. Huh. I'm a ghoul. A freak. Well, but I guess you're, you know, ghoul? Like. You're a ghoul? Well, What's I know a what a ghoul, ghoul is, never Radiation mind. Radiation surplus, Mart. That's what a ghoul is. You think I'd be able to live this long on my own? The rats did this to me! Uh, more about ghouls. Are there any other ghouls out there from before? You mean crazy Kent and nothing bothers me, Daisy? Yeah, there's a couple of us. But no one from the neighborhood. No one from vault Tech. They just left me there. To die. Apologize, I guess. I'm so sorry. I didn't know this would happen. You know... You're the only other person I met from before. I, uh, I... Oh, God. 
I've been so alone here. Colonel, come on. No Commonwealth settlement. Once a ghoul with 200 years of Vault-Tec sales experience. Go to Sanctuary. Oh, we're, we're, we're making hey, you know, him go. You could head back to Sanctuary. I'll come visit. I promise. Really? You... you will? Okay. I'll head over there right now. You promise you'll come visit, right? I'm there a lot. I'll see you there. I haven't even finished building up Sanctuary the way I want to. But yeah, there's the vault rep from the very beginning of the game, same voice actor who was Colonel Campbell. You'd think you'd find a couple of magazines about uh, how to stoop your lady in this place, right? You're like, I don't really know where the fuck I am. Okay, we're not even in the third rail. That's where. All right. Are you going to hang out in the lobby all? Oh man, there was dialogue going on there too. Oh well. Yeah, kind of looking forward to to Fallout 76. Got a couple months to go, right? I think like two months or so. Actually, I marked that on my fucking on my interweb calendar. No, I wasn't doing that. Where am I going? Calendar. It uh, comes out roughly. Uh, on November 4th, 11-14, allegedly. You're going to come visit, right? But I don't want anyone Talk to Piper. Oh, boy. Hey. Shoot. Piper. You know, you look like you could really use this. These things have literally saved my life. Really? Relationship. <laughs> Is everything all right between us, Piper? Look, you don't need to worry. We're fine, I guess. I just... I want to do right by folks out here. I guess... I need to know you do, too. Is everything all right between us, Piper? I suppose things are all right. Just feels like we could be doing more for folks out here, you know? We will. We will. That's all for now. Okay. Well, she's not upset that I went and had a, uh, a nice night with another lady. That's right. Who said that? Coming up to my office later. You've earned yourself some jet. The Institute. They're the real enemy. Not the Raiders. Not the super mutants. Not even those tools over in Diamond City. I don't know, Hancock! I'd sure love to give McDonough a kick in the ass! <laughs> hey, we all know I got my own personal... Well, the story is, a uh, good neighbor here is a place of all the rejects from everywhere else. Ghouls, druggies, whatever. Diamond City doesn't want anything like that. So there's a little bit of heat between the two cities. Family starts pushing you away for no reason. We all know who's behind that kind of shit. And the only way to stop it is to stick together. We'll stick together like frozen waffles. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Yeah, Fallout 76. My only worry with that is that the online community will be toxic like Grand Theft Auto 5. And who's in charge of good neighbor? I'd be worried about that. Rabble, rabble, yeah. Yes, there's rabble. I heard you off that freedom trail. What, you some kind of, what do they call it? History buff? Sure, buddy. Yeah, better get back to your shop there, Cleo. Well, let's go talk to Magnolia now that she's uh, back in the singing mood. We can finally go back and ask about, uh, Imogene. Cabot, that's them. The Cabots. Fuck, I didn't do nearly enough for the, the Cabot families I thought I was gonna do tonight. Downstairs. Don't bother the other patrons. Oh, I'm not bothering the patrons. I'm bothering... Well, you know. Yeah. Need a place to stay? Try hotel... Excuse me, miss. Something I can do for you, handsome? Excuse me, miss. I know we just, like, you know... Do you know Imogene Cabot? Imogene? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? Friend of the family. Um, she's missing, I guess. She's missing, and her family's worried about her. <laughs> well, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seems like a body that could use looking after. Hmm. Where is she gone? Do you know where she's gone? There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones, always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Emma Jane, 
She latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam! Would you come over here a minute? Is that ham? Is that a problem, okay. Miss Magnolia? No, this fine gentleman here was just looking for Imogene. Do you happen to know where that preacher fella came from? Hmm, Brother Thomas? Yes, that's right. The one Imogene was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. Kept going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Hmm. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Evan Jean's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. Because you know he's a, just a complete wackadoo. Alright, she's... Iron strapped on. That's great. Piper Plenty just goes attacks. and gets yourself a fucking Never drink. Kill be killed. Fine -looking weapons. I toss out the troublemakers. Keep that in mind. Oh, oh, it's in mind already. And I don't mind if you throw out the raffle rabble. Good one, frozen waffles. Oh, yeah. Well, that's a Simpsons reference, you know. Friends stick together. Sticking together is what good waffles do. What was it, when Marge and what's-her-name, the neighbor chick, were doing the whole... Uh... God, what was that fucking movie where the ladies drive the car off the fucking cliff with Gina Davis? They were doing that routine. Oh, drugs, drugs, drugs. Let me make drugs. I can't make any drugs. Never mind. Sticking together is what good waffles do. Alright, enough with the drugs. Sorry. Sorry, I can't, can't do anything with drugs. Can I fast travel out of Good Neighbor? Oh, Jesus. Thing is, I gotta go across the bridge. State House. Oh, I guess Hotel. we can. Well, that's good. So you can fast travel in and out of the, uh, the railroad hideout. And you can fast travel in and out of Good Neighbor, which is good. I'm down with that. Only level 44. I was looking the other day, like, the previous character that I was streaming here on Twitch, like, a year and a half ago. Level 78, somewhere around there. Pretty impressive. I mean, shit, I'm already level 44, and I feel like I have a much higher ceiling to go with. As far as the, the overall structure of this character. I don't know, I mean, I'll probably play this a good chunk until 76 comes out, then I'll really get into that, but... Playing MLB The Show, playing the new NHL game that just come out on Friday. Uh, there's the new Tomb Raider game. Oops, I shouldn't have said that I plan on buying that and streaming it, but there you go. <laughs> Was that Shadow of the Tomb Raider, I think it's called? I mean, hell, I played the other two. Why not? They're pretty good games. I mean, it's, I don't think that's the kind of thing that I would routinely go back to. It's definitely fun for, you know, I'd say, sure, a one-off, but if you wanted to do, like, a 100% run or some shit like that, that I could see as being fun. If you wanted to really, like, find every goddamn little thing and... All the GPS, what's it, and... Well, you know. Oh, yeah. Excuse the yawning. Hmm. Always looking around, clicking that goddamn VATS button. Oh, here it is. It's like an amphitheater over here. Okay, I thought I had a much longer walk. Excuse me. Welcome, neighbor. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? Um, I'm looking for Imogene. I'm looking for Imogene Cabot. Oh, I'm sorry, but Imogene is indisposed right now. She's not seeing visitors. Um, is she a member? What's she doing here? Is she a member of your movement? Actually, she and I are... you know... romantically involved. Not that it's any of your business, but... she and I are just having a little... relationship trouble. You know how it is. 
she's not seeing anybody until she cools off. Wait, what do you mean she cools off? Wow, I can pay? Friend of the family. I'm a friend of the family. Maybe I can talk some sense into her. Please, have a heart. Look, the truth is, we had a little, uh, disagreement about her joining the movement. She got kind of violent. So I locked her in there until I could figure out what to do with her. If you're willing to take her off my hands, let me unlock the door for you, and then she's all yours. Uh, I've got to warn you. She's way stronger than she looks. It took all of us combined to even get her Welcome. locked up in there. Okay. Brother Thomas. Well, all these religious types, they can be real pieces of work. Cultists, almost. Lead the way, tough guy. What do you got? steal that cigar box when I'm done. She's all yours, neighbor. Okay. You there. Wait. You must be Imogene. Don't tell me. Jack sent this sort of cleaning. Um quick save. What about your age? Like what's the deal here, huh? You're Jack's sister? I was expecting someone a bit younger. You really know how to flatter a lady, don't you? Just to be clear, I'm Jack's younger sister, the baby of the family. Once I get home and get some of Jack's serum, I'll be back to my usual stunning self. Um, serum reverses aging? Tell me more. Jack has a serum that reverses aging? It's more like it halts aging. I started taking it when I was 32, so normally that's what I look like. You'll see once I get my treatment. I was well known as one of the bells of Boston society, back when there was any. Gotcha. Well, yeah, what if you don't get more, like... What happens if you don't get more serum? Oh, I don't think we need to worry about that. I've gone without a treatment much longer before with no lasting effect. Wow. There's only one vial left. Actually, there's only one vial of the serum left. Raiders got the rest. I'd better get home before Mother convinces Jack that she needs all of it. <laughs> That he could still be such a mama's boy at his age is ridiculous. I'm so disappointed in Thomas. He seemed so interesting at first. But after we came here, he turned out to be just another brute. He actually thought it could force me to join his absurd cult. Um, sarcastic, sure. Your boyfriend Thomas was a real charmer. I was done with him, and he shouldn't have locked me in here. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first. Okay, a drink. Move. Wait, what's in this room? You got cigarette cartons. Piper, watch the door. You know what? Yeah, give me some beer. Might need some charisma eventually, you know? I can sleep in the bed just fine, but stealing the beer, that's a no-no. How fucking backwards is that? Yep, she's leaving. <clears throat> oh, you're not Hello, the guy. Ava. Here's the guy. To Brother Thomas about how to join our movement. Hi. We don't have anything to talk about. We don't have anything to talk about. Okay, I thought there was going to be this massive showdown. Okay. Freak ass cult. Yeah, so I got my, uh,. I had my weapon at the ready, because I thought there was going to be a showdown with these fucking creeps. Back to Cabot House. I left McCready behind. I'll get McCready eventually. I'll work on that. I mean, I gotta have an episode one of these days where I just totally bolster up. Well, see, like, when I get done with work, I only got a couple hours to stream, sadly. 
So it's kind of like to build up all of my uh, settlements where like I get walls built up around and only one entrance in or out with turrets aimed all the way in, you know. So it's bottlenecked like that. You romance the hell out of MacReady. Yeah, I remember the name, but I don't remember what he looks like, though. I mean, me, it's, you know, Piper or Kate, I would say, or the, uh, if I'm going like that. Dog meat's good, but there's no romance there. I mean, he's a hell of a fetcher. Let that end where it does. <laughs> really likes balls. No, no, no. It's funny, I never knew that if you gave dog meat a teddy bear in his inventory, he'll, like, play with it. Like, just out of the blue. It's the weirdest thing. Cause, like, you can put the collar and the bandanas on him and all the armor and shit. I don't think it does anything for his armor, for nothing. But if you give him a teddy bear in his inventory, just at random times when you're just standing around, it'll just, like, show up in his mouth and he'll, like, you know, start wrestling it around back and forth. And It's like, that's fucking awesome. It's like, remember back in the day, like, you know, Sonic the Hedgehog, he'd, like, stand there looking at you, like, tapping his foot, looking at a watch on his wrist, like, come on, let's get moving here, we're wasting time. Same kind Edward. of deal there. Edward! Edward, switch Nothing over to the Hartley you, modulator. Do? do you copy? See now. How's this? Oh, 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 that's done it. Edward, what's going on there? We're under attack. They're inside the building. Huh. Inside? Can you keep them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I I've never seen raiders that... Shit. For God's sake, Sammy. The doorway, right there. Sorry. Things are a little busy around here right now. Listen, if they're inside the building, you have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got it. Office. Elevator. You better round up whoever you can and get them. Oh, boy. Hello? Edward? Come in. Edward! Ah! There's no signal at all. I've lost him. What's happening, Jack? If these people are inside Parsons, if they free him... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping, Mother. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, not mine. So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking. Um, huh? What's going on? You always on? give him the bear. <laughs> that was Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. I didn't know that until, like, this playthrough character, maybe a couple strange. weeks ago. The guards Never knew that. Off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. Well, I found Emma Jean, if that means anything. I found Emma Jean. She's fine. Oh, yes. Good. Thank God. At least one small comfort on this terrible day. You'll be wanting to be paid, of course. Edward usually handles these things. Caps is what you use for currency, isn't that right? Here. I hope that's the right amount. Now, we really need to focus on the current emergency. How can you be so callous about your sister's sake? I wonder if these could be the same raiders that stole that last shipment. If some of them had used the undiluted serum, it could explain their unusual success against Edward's men. Hmm. Talk to me about serum. What exactly does this serum huh? do? I suppose it's time you knew. The main benefit of the serum is to halt aging. My family and I are all over 400 years old. But it also confers other side effects, especially in the undiluted form that the raiders stole. It increases strength and resistance to all kinds of physical damage. So at least some of these raiders may be much more dangerous than the ones you're used to dealing with. Ah, oh, I got this. Oh, wait, 400 years... Wait, there's a lot here. What, the source. Where do you get this serum from? My father, Lorenzo Cabot, is confined in Parsons. He became dangerously unstable after handling an artifact he found on an archaeological dig in Arabia. He gained various seemingly paranormal powers, as well as becoming increasingly irrational and violent. In the end, I had no choice but to confine him for his own safety as well as ours. Jack! Are you sure it's wise telling him all this? In the so you were overloaded on inventory, I and that's how you that accidentally gave him a bear. Uh, gave one to dog world. meat, so the source and found out that he starts wrestling with it. Is also the basis yeah, by freak the accident. That have all like, our lives. little details like that, it the means nothing to anything in the game. But 
if he were but to just, escape from Parsons, it's just a cool I thing. would lose my father forever. I will not allow that to happen. Not to mention that the artifact has made him paranoid, homicidally violent, rebel, and endowed rebel, with extraordinary Yawning abilities. rabble. We should hurry. We'd better get to Parsons right away, then. Exactly right. Before we go, I need you to understand something. When we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what I tell you. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that clear? Why? I don't like taking orders like that. Come I'm on. I'm not that great at taking orders. Then it's time to learn, or neither one of us is likely to leave Parsons alive. I'll just reload sure my game. I'll be fine. Make sure you have whatever you need for a serious battle. I'll wait for you outside. Jack, be careful, and try not to. You do that. I love Father at least as much Here as you. Here we go. Okay. You know as well as I do that if he gets free, there will only Eight be ball. one option. I'm taking the cue ball. Please. I'll do okay, my so best. One. And if Imogene finally comes home, two. for God's sake, don't let her leave again until I get back. Now I really do have to go. Three. Taking the rack. Oh no. Where's the four? Fifteen, nine, twelve, seven. Take another pool cue. Oh, four, five, six, seven. I have the eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, and another 12, along with a shot glass. That's worth it. Let's go back to Sanctuary. I was promised bourbon. Whiskey, wine, that's cool too. I can take that. Taking the umbrella and the stand too. Fuck it, now that I have access, I'm looking through this entire house. Y'all gotta have some good shit around here, I would hope. Sure, Salisbury steak. Fucking wine. I mean, at least they do it right. They're going with wine. Oh, no, 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 no. We're taking all that stuff. Just so as you know. You can see, I think I was missing the 13 ball the last time I tried doing what I'm trying to do. And that's, you know, you could build your own pool table, but I didn't have every ball. Okay, then. Aren't there like chests in this place? Oh, look at this place. <laughs> the maid's got talent. Oh, I can't even get into those. What? This fucking place is big. Oh, but nothing to do with the books. Come on. Taking a cigar box. Lit cigar, ashtray, magnifying glass. Yeah, just all this shit just sitting around. Liquor decanter. Pull yourself together, huh? Okay, so there was a chest. Um. Hmm. I mean, you would think there's a magazine. Or a bobblehead or some shit. I'll take bobby pins too, that's alright by me. Mario Brothers this place. Get the plunger. Oh, baby Jesus. Massachusetts Surgical gen uh, Journal. Permanently inflict 2% more limb damage. That's okay. Did the exact same thing with your pool table? Yeah. And, and Lord knows I tried. Oh. Journal of some sort. Alright, let's take that. Actually wanted the Zippo. In an antique globe, why not take that? I had a decent little setup on my previous character. I mean, I still got the file, it's just... It's not this character. Well, you know. I knew there was a chest. I don't remember there being a magazine there, but that's alright. Well, plus now I got the fucking The Racking Triangle, too, so that's cool. But I gotta remember, this is not junk. I gotta individually put this into the... Yeah. 
Or it can't be scrapped. You know what I mean. Well, you know. Alright, loading screen. Where are we at here? Yeah, see, this next upcoming bit, kind of a big deal. Uh, towards the whole Cabot House stuff that takes place. Um, so, you know, maybe I start kind of shutting her down a little bit. Just because. Like, I kind of want to, like, play the shit out of this game. And hopefully get done with everything by the time 76 comes out. what I say, on the 14th? Just under two months. Oh my god. And plus, if I want to stream other games and shit like that during the week. Just to be clear, under no circumstances. No, 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 buddy. You you go that way. You go to Parsons. Wait, what is this other thing? Oh, to follow him? No, no, no. We're, we're not doing that just yet. Sanctuary? Why do we have, like, 68% happiness? What the fuck is up with that? You know what? Swig of water for the gamer guys and girls out there. Cheers to you. Mm-hmm. That's a fun time. What do I have to, like, eat nearby? Like, I could use a little snack before I hit the pillow. I'm always fucking hungry, though. It's not gonna change. I hate going to sleep hungry, but I wake up and I'm never hungry. I don't know how that makes sense. So I'm going to transfer, but I need to go to the junk first. My god, it's alphabetized. Wait, my inventory. Well, that's the junk. Wait, huh? The eight ball store it. Eight? Eleven? Oh my god. Can't even think. So, okay, one. <laughs> yup. Two. Three, ten, thirteen, both twelves, I don't care. Two, three, I need the four, and the fourteen. Five and the fifteen. Six. Three, no, sixteen, alright, six. <gasps> Where's the seven? Alright, seven. It's in alphabetical order, Mike. Didn't I do the eight and the... Something. Sure, I did the eight. Eight, so niner. Nine, I did ten. Pretty sure I did eleven. I'm at twelve. Right, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. My brain doesn't remember 15. But it's gotta be in there. Oh well. Don't forget to talk to the vault guy! Oh yeah. That's true. Um, well it's not junk for the pool queue itself. What is it? The, the rack! There we go. But see, if you store all junk, like... Does this shit get broken down, or what's the deal here? Because I don't know exactly how that works. Because I got a lot of junk. I have no idea. No, I don't think it does. Fuck it, I don't know. No idea what I'm doing. Oh, it's Nick, okay. Saw a hat and a coat, and I thought, what the hell? No, not the workshop. All right, we did the, uh, we stored all the junk. Why am I going there? Weapons, I say. You know what? I'm even gonna do that. Put the pool cue away. Hmm, oh well. Cryo mine, put that away. Couple extra grenades, put six away. I'll carry ten, that's fine. Scrap you. Junk is to sell, so that's not for building materials. Odd. 
So I got a lot of shit sitting there that I'll never probably touch. Eh. Um, wait, that's Nick again, isn't it? Yeah, I still don't know how to fuck that cow got up there. Before I put the stairs up, that cow was there. What do I got? Four power armor fucking suits up here? Am I right? Kate, you're doing the clothing, ain't that something? Yeah? Yeah? Alright, Trash can't talk to hey me. Hey there. Trading? I sure am bartering. So here's what I got. You ain't got much, but I still might have some shit to deal with. Bubble gum. I don't need that many stouts. I mean, I know it's only like, pff, whatever. Whatever, Salisbury steak, fuck off. Don't need that much whiskey. You know, wine only gives me strength, and I don't need that so much. If it doesn't give me charisma, I can get beer from that. So whiskey is for strength. I know, right? When it's stout strength and charisma. That's okay. 42 bucks. Oh shit. Oh, never mind. But yeah, see, like, we don't have a real entry point in because I, I perimetered this entire fucking place. So, like, all these cows can't get in and out. Or maybe they sort of can't, I don't know. But yeah, I put a wall around the entire fucking place. So it's not as easy for bad guys to get in. Well, you know. Where's, uh, where's dude, though? Huh? Huh? Still got plenty of beds going. Good stiff, good stiff drink, Kate. Good lord. You're in charge of clothing. That's why you're not a bartender. There were some death claws out here one time. Where's Vault Tech guy? Come on. Forgot how I fucking got there. Who? Yeah, there were death claws out here the one time. I don't know if I can get back in now. Probably not. Which is kind of shitty because I kind of need to. You know what I could probably almost do? Oh no. Oh no, let me in. Let me in. So some of these, uh. Oh boy. I just move the wall and put it back. There we go. Shit. That was easy. Where's Vault Tech guy? Well, this was my house, wasn't it? Twas. Maybe he's in here reminiscing about memories past. You friggin'. Come on, you knocked right on this door. Piper, I'm over here. Alright, maybe she's gotta go pop a squat or something. That's cool. Do what you gotta do. Totally get you, uh huh? We're fine on food. Fault tech guy. Yeah, I know I can make a fucking bell and everybody will show up. Piper, where are you? Like, you're retracing my steps perfectly? I mean, that's kind of cool, but you look silly. World is bigger than strong new. God, cows running way beyond the fucking set. Yes, he's, they're trying to leave. And they just can't. Like that one, stuck down there, he, he can't move. Reign of Terrors has a question. Well, welcome in Reign of Terrors to the late night live stream Let's Play of Fallout 4. What is your question? I'm all patient. Because I'm not a doctor. That, never mind. What the hell is this? It's like a toaster or something. 
like buried on the ground. Why can't I pick that up? Come on. Come on. Alright. I like these lanterns. I want a lot of those all over the place. But you know what? Maybe I want that damn bell. When is the Fallout 76 beta? I haven't looked into that, honestly. I mean, I would just wager it's got to be... It might be a month before release. Just so, of course, people can get out there and stream it and some bugs can get fixed, maybe. I honestly don't know. haven't looked that up. Oh, boy. Wait, what the hell am I looking for? I don't even know what I'm looking for anymore. It's not a raider thing, is it? It's not flags. Cages, spiked poles, that's fun. Bullshit tents, that's that's not good either. Cages, miscellaneous. Quitting time siren? It's not so much what I need. It's, it's just like a fucking little bell that you ring, and everybody shows up to it. Oh, I need Cap Collector rank 2 to get the big stores. Son of a bitch. It's not a resource. Maybe it's miscellaneous. Yep, here's the bell. You know what, I could build up a siren as well. That's not gonna... That's not going to be a problem, I don't think. So in case we get invaded... Alright, you're going to go there, but the bell will go over here. Yeah, so we'll put the bell by the old house, that's perfect. Uh, I need the generator. Oh good, I can build 133 of these generators. That is wild stuff right there. Alright, so the siren's ready to go in case we get invaded. Alright, everybody stop what you're doing. Let me ring the fucking bell here. Come on. No? Oh, wait a minute. Come along, my children! Yeah, using this bell is a is a good way to find out where the fuck anybody is. You know, we see strong. We got, okay. Well, I see a hat. I know I'm not the only person here who's lost some. Just... You're just a settler. Did you have any? What you need? Fuck you, Preston. You and your stupid hat. What do you need? You came to visit. Play Vault Tech guy. I almost thought you wouldn't. Told you I'd hey, be here. Now that you're back here in Sanctuary, how would you like a job? A job? For, for me? Really? Yes. Yeah, I think your sales experience can be a great asset. Send the Vault Tech rep to Sanctuary Hills. You do? Well, that's... that's great! Weird. I won't let you down. Okay, um, so there's that. Everybody, it's all looking good. It's going on. You're, you're free to go, everybody. Nothing's more satisfying than a smoking gun and a pack full of caps. Okay, apparently he's assigned to food already. So that's good. Sure. Let me just stop what I'm doing. He's got a job to start up. I'm being sarcastic. Beautiful. Am I carrying like any extra garbage here? 158? Oh, that's right. I did uh, pack mule myself, so I have a higher carrying capacity. Wait a minute. What's up with this junk? Literally, what's up with this junk? Yeah, that saved a pound. Uh. Hey. Hey. 
Well, I do believe even if we take all of our time, we have to follow dude from the house over to the, the asylum. Oh no, he seems to be there already. Well, that's good. Well, I guess, yeah, I'll be shutting down here, I suppose. Because we're still working on the Cabot House stuff, which... I kind of forgot about finding Imogene and do all, all that shit, which is, you know, well, you know. But then again, we have to, uh... Clear out the good neighbor warehouses, that's a side thing. Talk to McCready. We got all these fucking things to worry about. I mean, Raider Troubles, Ghoul Problems, they can fuck off. I'm not so worried about that. Cleansing the Commonwealth, I can't do that until I have, like, maximum lockpicking. That sucks. Then there's Far Harbor, and there's Nuka World, and there's the fucking... Uh... This one, the Mechanical Menace. I think that's what, Automatron, or however you say that. All the DLC areas. Just fucking craziness. But, uh, meet Jack outside Parsons State Insane Asylum. Yeah. So, I guess that's where we'll be, uh, jumping to. Oh my god, I haven't put anything or anybody in the Red Rocket truck stop. Although there's nobody there, they're 50% happy. It's pretty good. How are they not happy at Sanctuary? Don't you have enough stuff here? Maybe not happy stuff, but whatever. Well, we will be going to the Insane Asylum. The next time we play the live stream, let's play of Fallout 4. Thanks to everybody chipping in and chiming in here live on Twitch, the lurkers included. But Mel Berries was in saying, hey, Godzilla coming in to say hey, and uh, looks like he left really quick, but Reign of Terror is coming in to ask a question that I didn't have an answer for. It happens. But all together, thanks all the way around. Swig of water for the gamer guys and girls out there. Uh, maybe you're one of the people that watch episodically on YouTube at your own leisure. Uh, and I thank you as well, although... Some of these could be kind of long episodes to watch. It's not exactly like a 10-minute, a 30-minute video. This is, uh... Well, you know, this is about two hours. Sometimes I do three. During the work week, that is. But, yeah. They can be a long watch. I mean, hey, if you're down for that shit, trust me, there's plenty. It took me over a week of my life to play Skyrim. For a live stream, a Let's Play, whatever. Over a week, according to the timestamp, that was, what, 160-plus hours? Yeah. And you can play a hell of a lot more than that, believe me. So this is almost a fucking walk in the park by comparison. But, next time we play the live stream, let's play a Fallout 4. We're going to the Asylum yet again. Sometimes you gotta go crazy to stay sane. That's the way I look at it. All that put aside and put together, well, you know. MJ signing out for now. Till we meet again, everybody. I don't know when or where that's exactly going to take place, and I'm not even sure what game we'll be playing the next time you and I cross paths specifically, but all I do know is that I will indeed catch you down the road.